Tisha, the Shannon Group has been without a chair for six months now at a time of unprecedented challenge to the group. Its aviation sector is, well, there are no planes going in and out other than US military planes, which of course are creating their own controversy because of, they seem to not have to adhere to COVID rules. The uh, tourism sector is on its knees and the Shannon Heritage sites are shut and commercial property faces its own challenge. Yesterday's fiasco where a man with no ostensible experience in any of these areas was appointed really undermines any claim that the government has of commitment to Shannon or the wider region. And Shannon is of course instrumental right across the west of, of, of Ireland. When will the government now appoint somebody with the required experience to provide strategic direction Thank you, to Deputy. the Shannon Group? Taoiseach, can you conclude on these well, two I matters? share your concern with the aviation sector more generally, but obviously that's a victim of um, COVID uh, and the impact of the pandemic, not just here, but globally uh, on travel and travel more generally. Um, secondly, uh, in terms of the, it was the public appointments service um, process um, and Sorry, Please, sorry. Taoiseach, without interruption. It was a public appointment service. Yes, and there were three people Taoiseach came forward. without interruption. Out of that process, and a person was selected. Um, and, uh, and, and basically, uh, then it emerged in, in respect of, of, of tweets that were unacceptable. And the minister took very, very quick action to deal with that. And the minister will be dealing with the successor very quickly indeed as well. Yeah. No, 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 we, we can't. So, I'm sorry, yeah, but we... Yeah, I'm, so, I'm I said I'm sorry. very quickly, could, you know, that's a matter the minister will come back to you in relation to that. Yeah.